Look at all these temperatures in the 70s. There are a few spots in the 60s, but we've got more 70s this morning as we slowly bring the overnight lows up and we slowly kind of ooze that humidity in as well. 74 in Palm Harbor. I got 70s, Crystal River, Inverness, Brooksville. These numbers are about five, six degrees warmer than they were yesterday. Lakewood Ranch, Sarasota, Venice, all in the lower 70s, not to mention Frostproof, Lakeland, Bartow, and Arcadia as well. Here's the difference. We're running five degrees warmer in Crystal River. Leesburg, you're about six degrees warmer. And in the Tampa area, some two to four degrees warmer. And all we did, or all we're doing, is just shifting the direction of the wind. That's it. <laughs> I know it sounds. Our summertime is completely dependent upon our wind direction. And we've been sitting in the east wind for a while now. Now we're going to shift it to more of a west wind. A couple of things. What we're going to do is we're going to bring the humidity levels up. They're going sky high. So the humidity is here and it's going to hang out, not going anywhere. But the other problem when you get into this pattern is the rainfall totals. They mount up along the east coast, but not the west coast. So we have a couple little isolated showers this morning. Love to see that, but it's not going to amount to much. And ultimately, everything kind of pushes toward the eastern seaboard over the next few days and or southern Florida in general. So our rain chances are only around 30% today and tomorrow and Friday. <laughs> You see where I'm going with this, right? Low rain chances, but more humidity with a high in the upper 80s. Tonight, mild, very muggy, a low 76. And then tomorrow, we're right back into the upper 80s with that humidity. Boaters, got a light chop for you. It's going to be beautiful on the coastal waters. Enjoy that. We may get back to 90 degrees next week, but upper 80s for several days with that rain chance. Mariah, at only about 30%, okay? okay.